putting my hand on Maddie's pack right now. We're so excited to be up here to show you all what it looks like in the park and everything behind mm -hmm. us. It's a beautiful landscape of color. So we're going to switch things up a little bit this week. Absolutely. It is windy but beautiful here in Shenandoah. Uh, this week we'll have our fall broadcast will go out Thursday at 2 p.m. It'll be on Facebook, YouTube, and if you miss it, it'll also be on our website. This week we are doing um, uh, tips tips for visiting, yeah. um, and we'll do our fall, our peak check actually at the end this week because we have some extra special guests. Yes, we found some experts in the park that we had to talk to. <laughs> week six tips for visiting so check out the website there's a lot of really good information there to be able to plan your hikes and to get your visit all figured out before you come up to the park and then another way to get into the park a little bit faster is to get your digital pass so we have our seven day we have our annual just any pass that you could get for shenandoah you can get it online and then it's just a great way to get into the park a little bit faster and start your adventure sooner so check it out and also have your ID ready when you go through the entrance station. The entrance station visitors, um, or the entrance station rangers love it when you have your ID ready and they want to say thank you. So keep yep. doing that. Something else you'll find on our website when you're planning your fall uh, visit to Shenandoah are going to be uh, some hiking tips which include wearing layers. <laughs> layers, layers, layers. I actually started out with an extra layer over me when we hiked up here and I took it off because I got really warm. Um, I couldn't put it on right now, but I just wanted to match Ranger Maddie, so I left it behind us, but I'm so glad that I had it with me when we started out, and I'll have mm -hmm. to be happy to have it when we go back down. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, another thing is, since the days are a little bit shorter in the fall, it's a really great idea to bring a headlamp. Mm -hmm. uh, most people bring their phones, and we know that those have flashlights on them, but you can't really rely on your phone for a lot of things when you're in the park that include your flashlight, so just mm -hmm. having some handy. Um, just in case you get stuck in a situation where maybe you started your hike a little bit late mm -hmm. and you're stuck in the dark so you have something to get you back to your vehicle when you're going back from your mm -hmm. hike. So yeah, layers and headlamps, super, super important. Mm -hmm. As you guys can imagine, fall is super busy here in Shenandoah, so if you're here experiencing the fall colors and you come across an overcrowded overlook or hiking trail, just go on to the next one. There are lots to choose from. so. Just go on to the next one. There's plenty of space to spread out. Lots of overlook. Yeah. So, um, and if you're going into a picnic area, um, they are going to be turning off some of the water this week just because our tents up in the park have gone so cool. below freezing at night. So they will have some, some of the picnic areas will have some frost-free faucets remaining. So that means, you know, bring that extra jug of water to put out the fire, but if you forget one or you didn't know to bring it because you didn't watch the broadcast, <laughs> um, you can have to go find those. There will be one in every picnic area. But just to go over a little bit of a training for putting a fire out in the picnic area. How do you do it? You want to <laughs> douse it. You want to stir the fire and then you want to kind of put your hand over it to feel if it's still mm -hmm. hot to the touch. Do that a few times until it feels pretty cool. Oh no! Oh, gloves! <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! Was that? <laughs> That's a good cut. Here's a look at what you all were capturing this week in the park. We got these photos from Flickr. So what you can do if you want to join in is to go to flickr.com/group last gen fall and include the location and date of your picture and you'll have a chance to be featured on our broadcast in the next couple weeks. something a little different this week. We went out into the park on Friday to ask you guys 
when you think fall peak will be. So after all, you are our leaf peeping experts being in the park yourself. So we wanted to come and see what you guys' best guess was because we don't know either. So <laughs> let's see what you guys said. Hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah. Well, how are you? Where are you all from? Stafford. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Richmond, Midlothian, Virginia. We're from Pennsylvania. Falls Church. Virginia. We're local, well, kind of local. We went to school here and then we graduated, so then we just yeah. relocated to New York. North Carolina. Portland, Oregon. Winchester. South Florida, Fort Myers. Do you have any tips for visiting Shenandoah this time of year? Uh, make sure you come. <laughs> come, get out of the car and walk around and sit and luxuriate in the, uh, in the autumn air. So I have a very important question for you guys. Yes. When do you think peak fall color will be? Probably in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. We're a little too <laughs> early. <laughs> um, um, 10 to 14 days. Hey. <laughs> it's been about two, three days or something. I think that what we're seeing now probably in another one and a half to two weeks. Like closer to the beginning of November. We found some rangers, we're gonna ask them. Sam! I have no idea. Um, I'm going to say maybe five days. Can I tell you with fair certainty, I'm going to say a week to the day of right now. I think peak will probably be in about 10 to 12 days. All right. Just because you never know when a windstorm is going to blow off leaves. I don't know what I think of this. I, I just, I just, I just like going. Say probably maybe in 10 days. October 26th. Spend the week, at, that is if there's any leaves left on the tree. <laughs> Two weeks from now. Uh, well, I'm going to guess maybe the end of next week. Okay. Uh, Mid-October. Mid no, Mid-October. Like We're October. in mid-October. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's late-October. So now. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Do you wanna guess? Late-October? Hi! <laughs> hey, so can you tell us when peak is, our fall color is gonna be at its best? I, uh, watching your video from last week, I think it's gonna be more like have a fan. next week. Next week? Is yeah! Right? Hey, Lily, can you tell us when peak color is going to be? Right, we're thinking in the next two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't put me on the spot like this. <laughs> I have heard people say the next week or two, maybe early November. So it's a wide range, but I don't know. I can't say for sure. A week. Mm -hmm. Another week. I'd say in two weeks, you'll have it perfect. Well, I thought now, but with the cooler weather coming, I'm thinking like middle of next week. That's what I'm going to shoot for. We won't be here then, unfortunately, but you know, I guess it just depends on what part of the park you're in. I would say maybe in uh, two weeks. Maybe three weeks. I would say <laughs> three weeks. Mid November? Mid November? Yeah. I think end of October. Mm, next weekend. Next weekend. Probably, yeah. yeah. It's like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you're right. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great day. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go find us, go find us on YouTube. We've got hey, a bunch of them. Hey, wait, hi, yeah. Hi. Hey. Down. Yeah, oh, no. oh. <laughs> Which way do we go, this way? Thank you guys so much for everyone who talked to us on Friday. And also, shout out to those of you who recognized me and Alyssa in the park. <laughs> uh, it was so great for you, man. <laughs> it, was, it was so nice to talk to you guys and to know that you've been enjoying the broadcast. and like what we're doing. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you next week.